Hi, I'm Sean Thornton, the senior pastor at Calvary Community Church in Westlake Village, California. And I'm here with my friend, Jaron Micah. And uh, Jaron is a singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. And I've enjoyed some of his music over the years as that has been shared with me. And I yes. appreciate getting those songs. And Jaron, you have a new EP coming out. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I do. Yeah, I have an EP called Hold Fast under Jaron Micah. It's coming out June 26th, 2020. Really excited about it. Really excited to share this music I've been working on um, with the community and with, with everyone around us in Westlake Village and uh, yeah, Ventura County. Especially. You know, the, the title of the EP is Hold Fast, and mm -hmm. so the title track is that as well. And it comes from a psalm of scripture, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, what's, it does. What's the background? Why you pick that? did you pick that psalm, and what, what resonates with you with that? Psalm? Yes, so it's, uh, Psalm 91 is the song Hold Fast. That's where that psalm came from. And uh, I, I really enjoy that psalm. Um, and actually, funny story, it came from a worship assignment. Uh, my teacher at my school, Hillcrest Christian, recommended we choose a psalm and he uh, threw one out there, Psalm 91. And I began to dive into it and it talks a lot about um, God being our refuge. And this was during the time as we're all quarantined and so I, I really um, began to dug in, dig into it and realized that uh, a song can be formed out of this and God spoke to my heart and I began to write this song, uh, Hold Fast, as God can uh, hold fast to us with His love and we can cling to Him as well. That's great. Well, I've heard the song. And I think you've captured the heart of the psalm. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Matter of fact, we, we believe the psalms were once put to music by David and mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. uh, even in the temple in the Old Testament. And so maybe you'll find out one day, uh -huh. you'll hear the original yeah. music and find out it kind of uh, lines <laughs> yeah, up with so. yours. Awesome. But one yeah. thing that comes from that psalm, and I think it sounds like that's part of your heart in the COVID the uh -huh. stay at home that we've been under, uh, is that there's heart in that. And mm -hmm. you sing it with mm -hmm. heart on the track. So mm -hmm. I've been kind of surprised that you, for your age and everything as a young man that you have so much heart in the songs you. you write and even how you interpret that psalm mm -hmm. in the music itself. Where does that heart come from? Where do you think that comes from? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think I think a lot of that comes from uh, my childhood and growing up. Uh, my family, I grew up with an older brother who has severe autism and many other disabilities. And, and uh, growing up with that, the ups and downs, challenges of that, and also seeing the faith and perseverance of my parents through that and learning so much. Um, it's given me a great perspective. I'm really thankful for um, what uh, Caleb, my older brother, that's his name, uh, what he has taught me. And um, I think I think I draw from that and that passion and um, emotion from my heart and writing. And um, I'm blessed to have that opportunity and I know I'm, um, I have a lot of room to grow in my writing and songwriting. And uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity of uh, God blessing me with the ups and downs and challenges um, of uh, having an older brother, sibling with disabilities. But, yeah. yeah, God's given you a musical gift, and like you said, you grow in that, of course. Over time, we all grow in the gifts God gives us, uh, unless we squander them. And you're not doing mm -hmm. that, you're actively <laughs> thank using Thank you, thank you. Yeah. But he's also given you that gift of a heart for people, and I think that's going to resonate as people hear your EP and they hear that song, mm -hmm. Hold Fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the details people might want to know about the EP? Yes, and, yeah. And um, kind of, how's it, how can they get it? Yes, I listen to yeah. it. I know I've enjoyed it, I've listened uh -huh, to it, uh -huh. and I always appreciate the songs that one are from the scriptures, but also have uh -huh. your heart. So yes. how can others can enjoy it too? Well, that's a great way to describe it. I, I would say that um, it kind of combines an intimate worship, um, an acoustic experience of my style of music and as a musician, as well as the scriptures um, and a contemporary Christian song. So I would categorize it as intimate worship. And uh, this EP is called Hold Fast under Jaron Micah. It's coming out June 26th, 2020, uh, coming soon. And uh, on all platforms, you can stream it and download it. So really excited to share this music with the community. You know? That's great. Well, God bless you. And I know God's going to use the EP. Thank and you. People Thank are going to enjoy it. it. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.